This is a video case presentation of a 64-year-old Caucasian male with a medical history that is really nondescript. He's not taking any medications. He's healthy, um, no diabetes or anything like that to speak of. And when you go ahead and look at his uh, perio probing, there's not a lot going on. He's got a couple of fours in the molar regions, but nothing too dramatic. Looking over at his um, full series of x-rays, there's nothing indicating uh, bone loss or circumferential defects or anything like that, or even furcation involvement that would lead us to believe that uh, he's got an unhealthy mouth. In our office, we use phase contrast video microscopy to take plaque samples, and that gives us a better indication of periodontal risk assessment than just a periodontal probe measurement. And so when you do that and you take a plaque sample, this is what we see in his mouth. There is a lot going on on this slide. You're looking at 400 power on an Nikon microscope and you can see that there is some bacteria plaque that is non-modal, that is the healthy bacteria, and then there's fast-moving stuff, which is pathogenic for sure. Uh, you have large uh, PMNs that are mounting an immune response to the infection, and the corkscrew-like bacteria that's moving are at the actual spirochetes that are in infecting his mouth. One of the questions I'm often asked is, well, when you're treating these spirochete infections, why not just do a scaling and root planing and treat with some antibiotics? And that works for most perio, um, most perio infections, but the spirochetes are very, very unique in that they have a pleomorphic form or they have a cyst form, and those cyst or spore-like spore forms get embedded into the epithelium. And so what happens is they can coil up and uh, lose their cell wall and um, avoid antibiotics. Uh, Dr. William Nordquist was able to show that um, introducing silver colloidal salts, which are supposedly uh, able to kill 99.9% uh, of bacteria, he introduced bleach, iodine, antibiotics, and he kept seeing reinfections. Uh, because of this opportunistic availability of the spirochete to go into a spore-like form, wait it out, and then reinfect. Also, I've seen periosciences, uh, chlorohexidine, oil pulling with tea tree oil and coconut oil. Uh, the only thing that really keeps them at bay is the baking soda. Um, uh, it does suppress uh, the ability to replicate, but as soon as you get rid of the um, stop the baking soda toothbrushing, they come right back as evidenced by uh, future videos uh, or past videos that I've done uh, while I'm following patients and we're introducing different uh, treatment modalities. What you're looking at now is a uh, slide at 400 power of the same patient immediately following CO2 laser pocket uh, periopocket de-epithelialization and closed flap circular debridement and um, I like this treatment mo modality because not only does it just vaporize the bacteria but it actually um, uh, the, the de-epithelialization changes those pockets for me and um, uh, you get rid of the spore form as well and I'm not seeing reinfection come back um, like I was prior the nice thing too is the confirmation of having a phase contract microscope chair side. You can see there's a little brownie in motion here with these red blood cells post uh, laser treatment, but you really don't see any uh, pathogenic bacteria, uh, no spirochetes. There's not much of anything going on in these slides. Same patient, different slide from a different area of the mouth, just again looking for anything that resembles uh, pathogenic bacteria, specifically the spirochete. And you're seeing the same thing. There's some brownie in motion of some little uh, particulate matter and um, uh, red blood cells, obvious, from the procedure um, that you encounter. But uh, the slides are just vastly, vastly different from pre- and post-therapy uh, treatment slides. 
I will continue to follow this patient and post more slides at the same magnification as some time passes and uh, keep you guys um, informed of what my findings are. I appreciate your time and attention and thank you for watching.